For each of these tricks, I will show how that trick can be applied to both F2L and S2L. For each trick to keep things simple and consistent, I will always use the red, white, and blue pair for F2L, and always the purple, orange, and yellow pair for S2L. When you're inserting this pair right here into a slot that's over here, you can do R2 prime, F, U prime, F prime, R2. So for S2L, I go this way around the cube. So I wouldn't want to go have to rotate all the way over here and then rotate back. So I could just do that and then go straight here. If you're inserting this edge into here and the back slot is open, you can solve it really quickly with R2, U prime, R prime, U, R2 prime. If we still wanted to do the same thing with the purple, orange, yellow pair, it would be a bit trickier than if we were to do it with this pair, but we could do an F prime and that would set it up to this and then we can do the same moves and then finish with that. Of course, this trick could be easier in S2L for a pair in this position with the back saw open. If you want to insert a pair into a back slot and the star color is facing you, the best way to solve it is to do an L2 like this and then a U2 and then L2 prime. This can also be applied to S2L and the righty version. And so we see we're gonna insert this purple into here. So we do an R2 prime, U2 prime, R2. If you have a similar case where you have the pair here facing upward sort of, and then the pair back here, you can bring the slot up one and then insert this pair like that. If your pieces are here and here, and these two colors are opposite, you can do an R2 and then U R2 prime. So instead of doing bringing this up and doing a lot of moves like that, all you can just do simple three moves. You can also do this with an R2 prime and of course an S12. So with this purple pair right here, R2 prime, U prime, R2, no rotations. If you're in this position where you have your pair right here and your slot is down here, instead of doing a rotation and inserting like that with L moves or something, you can just do R2, U prime, R2 prime. For S2L, inserting this pair into here, instead of doing a rotation and doing L moves like that, you can just do R2 prime to bring the purple here, match the purples, R2. You learn that there's basically a whole family of tricks like these where you can do R2 to save rotation. So for example, if your pair's over here and your slot's over here, it doesn't matter what position it's in on this layer, you can insert it like here. Or if it's here, you can do U2, U2 prime, U prime. So for S12, if you wanted to insert this purple into here, bring the slot up, U2 prime, R2. If you're inserting this pair into here, you can bring up the slot with F and then R2, U, F prime, four moves. Instead of R2, U2, then rotating or doing F moves, just like this. And for S2L, if you're inserting this pair into back here, you can bring up the slot. For the mirror of this case, where you're inserting this and the slot is on the right instead, it's better to just do R2, F, R2 prime, F prime. Be aware that this algorithm breaks this front slot, but if it is open, then you can solve it super quickly. Of course, this can be applied to S2L. For example, inserting this into here seems kind of crazy, but you can just do R2, F, R2 prime, F prime. For cases that look like you would normally pair them up like this, rotate and then insert, you can often just do an F prime instead, which sets it up to a three mover. So if you have this case where you might normally do this on three by three, you can just do U prime, F prime, that. To insert this pair into here, most people do this, which is a pretty simple solution and intuitive. But a less intuitive solution that I prefer and think is better is to bring the slot out and then do U, R prime, F prime. Which saves a move and I think is just better. 
In S12, if you want to insert this into here, just bring out the slot, bring it back. When you have the pieces right here in this position and these two stickers match, you can, instead of doing this and setting it up to like that case, you can set up to a three mover like this with an F prime and then insert and then bring it back down. So we have these two pieces here and inserting purple right here, set it up, three mover, go back. You don't want to use the common 3x3 alg for this, which is like that, because on Megaminx it's a lot easier and faster to do R prime, U2 prime, R2, U, R. You have to be careful though because this alg breaks these two pieces, and so for example in S2 L, if we wanted to solve this flipped edge and we had these solved pieces back here, we could take it out with a sledge and then do our flipped alg. And then we just know we have to replace this back here. So it's still viable to use this alloc when this is solved. You just have to remember to cancel and do an R2 prime and then insert that. So that would look like this. If you can set up to this case with the white facing up and then insert like this, but you have your piece down here, you can actually do an F or F prime and that'll set it up to a three mover. Same with S12, if we wanted to solve this purple, green, blue, and we got the edge right here, instead of doing this, we could do this. We could do an F, R, F prime, and then insert like that. Keyhole can be quite useful in Megaminx. For example, if we wanted to solve this pair, we know we have this edge solved, and we have this corner, we can just do like that. This can also be super useful in S2L. For example, if you were going to solve this pair, and you might just normally do one move to triple sexy, you can instead just do D prime R U R prime D. And that saves the rotation and a bunch of moves. So I hope you learned at least something from this. This is This was meant for intermediate and advanced solvers because I even see some world-class people do solutions that I think they could do better and it's kind of surprising sometimes so I thought I should just put this video out and see what other people think and if I'm just crazy or bad or <sighs> probably the second one but I hope you guys learned something let me know how many of these you knew and I'll see you guys in the next video thanks for watching